Millions of Americans suffering with chronic pain are hoping for relief now that the CDC has clarified that its guidelines led to a nationwide crackdown on prescription opioids. Now, the overwhelming majority of opioid-related overdoses are caused by illicit drugs, including heroin, but not prescription medication. But Nevada and other states have imposed restrictions on legal pain management. Now state lawmakers are working on changes in the law that will allow doctors to do their job and ease the suffering of legitimate pain patients. The I-team's George Knapp has the story. There's virtually tens of thousands of patients that have been involuntarily tapered down or off their opioids, and they're suffering. They're in pain. Retired pharmacist and patient advocate Rick Martin relates to the tens of millions of Americans coping with chronic pain since he's one himself when the CDC issued its supposedly voluntary guidelines in 2016. It never meant for states to enact them into law or for insurers and pharmacy chains to impose even harsher limits on pain medication. But that's exactly exactly what's happened. Now, three years later, CDC has admitted its guidelines have been misapplied in Nevada and elsewhere. The FDA and Surgeon General have also weighed in, confirming what the I-Team has been reporting for years, that millions of Americans suffering with legitimate, intractable pain have had their lives destroyed and in some cases ended. In particular, Martin cites military veterans, many of them injured in combat, now cut off from pain relief by the VA. Martin thinks it's no coincidence that 20 veterans per day commit suicide. I mean, they go back as far as the Vietnam War and stuff, you know, and some of these uh, veterans have been on their medications for years and years, you know, 20 years, without, you know, any problems, and they're all of a sudden they're taken off. You know, these are our veterans. They fought for our country. They deserve to have pain relief. Nevada joined the anti-opioid bandwagon by enacting a law which placed excessive requirements on doctors, not as strict as in other states, but enough to cause some doctors to quit prescribing opioids altogether or to leave medicine. There are hundreds of patients who are not able to get into a pain doctor. We have a waiting list that's at least a year long. I had a guy call the other night who started crying on the phone that he couldn't find a pain doctor and he tried everywhere and I felt horrible, but there's just nothing I could do there. Um, this hysteria that's been whipped up about opioids and continues to be used as a talking point among politicians continues to hurt patients. Dr. Laird is encouraged by recent statements from the CDC and FDA urging physicians and states to back away from forced tapering of pain medication. But he worries changes will come too late for many patients who are in pain now. Public policy consultant Terry Murphy thinks Nevada lawmakers have received the message. In Nevada, I think what's happening is there's a real recognition uh, that there needs to be um, safeguards in place, um, but physician discretion has to be balanced with that. She's and tracking two bills, bills in the legislature which would strengthen a doctor's ability to prescribe pain medication. Murphy says that's a call to be made by physicians, we'll not by the government. No person responds to a disease the same as the next guy on the bench, and no person responds to a medication the same as the next guy on the bench, and that's where all the 16 years and many years of experience, education and experience of your doctor come in, right? George Knapp, 8 News Now. Dr. Dan Laird and other advocates urge pain patients to contact their legislators, let them know how they feel. One of the bills is AB 239, and it's already been approved by the state assembly and today had its first hearing in the Senate. We'll have additional information posted to our website at lasvegasnow.com.